reach you live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. This is Sports Tonight. It's good to have you join us once again to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa. On the show tonight, we'll be monitoring what's going on right there at the CAF on the 23 Afghan. Navy moment for the Olympic Eagles. It was 1 1 as at the 65th minute before Akilechi Wakali made it 2 1. And now Taiwa Awoni has made it Nigeria 3, Zambia 1. Ah, breathing times for Coach Imama Amakakpagbo because if they don't win this match, trouble. Trouble. We'll continue to monitor what's going on right there in that one. Also on the show tonight, we'll continue our counts down to the second edition of the Channel's Track and Field Classics. Just one more day to go. We can't keep calm. No, don't tell me to relax. We are ready to go back to the schools to discover talents, not in football, but in athletics. Tomorrow, showtime. Look, over 50 secondary schools in Lagos State will come out to the Teslim Balogun Stadium and prove to us once again that there are talents at the grassroots that for us to win, the foundation must be right. If you want to discover talents, you must go back to the basics. And that's what we're trying to do with the second edition of the Channel's Track and Field Classics. I've been telling the beautiful success story that we achieved from the first edition. It will be beautiful to see what we can do with this second edition. It's a special invitation for you to come out to see the beautiful works going on right there at the grassroots at the Sleep Balogun Stadium as early as 9 a.m. We will be there uh, to welcome those fantastic young stars and give you an opportunity to have a peep into the future of sports in Nigeria. Walk with us. Also on the show tonight, we'll find out what's going on with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. They're getting ready for that 2021 AFCON qualifying match against the Squirrels of Benin Republic. And they had a presser today in Uyo, the Aquaibum State's capital, and also uh, at a training session, we will listen to uh, the players and coach Gannon Rod. They seem to be relaxed about that one. But hey, it's Benin Republic, a tricky tie, so I'm sure they're going to give it uh, the approach it needs when they get on the pitch. We'll monitor that one. It will go down on Wednesday, actually, uh, tomorrow. Also on the show tonight, what's going on right there in the CAF Confederation Cup. The draw has been done for me. Tough, tough draw for Enugu Rangers. And a tricky one for Emba Football Club of Aba. Let's see what they can do. It's the business stage of the competition. You go further, you make money, you gain prominence, and you can dream to win the trophy. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Tomorrow, uh, the finals, the final eight right there at the MBBF President's Cup. I uh, will kick off with Dunkoff, actually. It's basketball. We had the boys from the players and coach from Civil Defenders. They're pretty optimistic that they can get something out of that. So, but hey, Quara Falcons and uh, Rivers Hoopers will say beat us. We are the teams uh, to beat right there. But hey, it's, it's sports. In this our world of sports, in Possible is nothing. So I can't just even come out and say this is where it will go. No, because every day we see surprises. It's about the outlook of the show tonight. And we've been asking questions. The FIFA inspection team came to the country and they took a look at some of the infrastructure we have in Nigeria to see if we can host the FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup. What's the update? We're not hearing much from, uh, from FIFA as regards that inspection. Is Nigeria going to host the FIFA on the 20 World World Cup. The president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amaju Pinik, he was on our show Sunrise Daily and he was answering questions as regards that. We will listen to him tonight on the program. We will also, uh, if we've got the time, talk about 2021 AFCON qualifying series, match day one, fixtures, and of course, everything going down in our world of sports. And when I say everything for me, I put everything together to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I will continue my countdown tonight on this show, Sports Tonight, on your award-winning sports-loving channels, television. Come, 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 come. Let us play for the love of the game. Tell somebody that we are ready to catch them young again. This time, we took it a step further. We left the primary schools with a 
the kids come, oh, they leave it. We just put a pause on it. We'll get back to football in May. But now we want to give attention to athletics. Athletics in Nigeria has been on a decline. We don't like it. And the only way to repair it is to go to the foundation, go and find out what is happening, what went wrong. We used to be so good with school sports, and athletics used to lead the way. Nigeria went to sleep. We're no longer discovering talent. We go to pick those ones from the United States that are half baked and old, but because they come here bitter athletes, they represent the country. We can stop this with the channels, track and field classics. It's just one more day. Tomorrow, action will commence at the Teslim Balogun Stadium. Walk with us on this journey. You can talk to us. What are the ways we can develop athletics at the grassroots using the channels, track and field classics as a model? Talk to us on Twitter. What channels are this? Sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. You can send an email to sports tonight at channelstv.com. Also, tell me the location where you are watching sports tonight on channels television. And let's keep the love going. We are monitoring what's going on at the CAF on the 23 AFCON. Nigeria taking on Zambia, crucial one. They lost their, their opening game to Cut d'Ivoire by a single goal. Coach Imama cannot smile. He's trying to stay alive, breed with this team. If they beat Zambia, they keep hopes alive. For monitoring that one on the show tonight. You can talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels IFA sports, or send us an email to sports tonight at channelstv.com. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com, and on YouTube for slash channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download the Channels TV app for any of those devices as you see on your screen, and you'll be part of the show. Once again, welcome on board wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on Channels Television. It's the fun factory, and yes, you're going to have so much fun uh, with us tonight on the program. Let me welcome uh, my guest in the studio, Idris Kenyon, makes a return to the show. Uh, Idris, it's good to have you on sports tonight. It's good to, to be here, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Okun. And uh, I, I love the way you you said we cannot keep calm with the no, Channels no, track no, and no, field. I am, I am also not I'm keeping restless. calm. <laughs> I, I, am, I am one of those who advocate yeah. for growth, you know, transition, That's especially right. from that raw talent Ooh. to a refined, you know, uh, uh, um, to a refined stuff. And I saw the first edition, and uh -huh. trust me, it was raw as raw can be. That's These right. guys are perfect, you know, uh, uh, flash when it comes to speed. Yeah. They are so good with the speed. Uh -huh. They just need those touches around the edge That's to right. get them beating the wall. Yeah. And if yeah. channels is doing this, public-private partnership, I mentioned it mm -hmm. here last week. We saw the ones for the juniors and now it's secondary school. Fantastic one. I just want, you know, I just want to see more of this. Reason why I am joining, I'm joining you to not Welcome keep calm at this, pro, at this moment. Welcome on board. I love it so much. Because uh, it just gives you so much joy when you see young talents. Yeah. As I said, we saw them last year. Uh, Raw. Raw. We just need to refine yeah. them. And it is platforms as these, the channels, track and field classics that we can use. Of course. Back in the day, we used to have a lot of open championship for athletics. For athletics. Do, 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 they, do, do, do you know that? Like you mentioned back then, um, on the island, if there is uh, maybe a state competition, trust me, Everybody on the island can just close their eyes and pick the five representatives because they see them in school sports every other time. So you hear of, oh, that guy from King's College will be there. That guy from St. Gregory will be there. And confirmed when the names come out, these guys will be there because it is not anonymous. It is not hidden. You all see it. And when it comes to uh, uh, the mainland, the, the, everybody already knows the name because they are there to be seen. But after a while, this whole <coughs> thing died down. And uh, some people are trying to do the uh, uh, resurgence of all of this. And channels, thanks for you know being in the whole middle. That's Look right. at. I These know. guys want to beat the world. Stay Trust me. Yeah. This is the moment you dream of everything in your life. And if you can just be tapped, then beating the world is just around the corner. That's the word. Oh. If they can be tapped. And this is what we are trying to do uh, with the second edition of yeah. the Channels Track and Field Classics. I told you, 9 a.m. In fact, some officials will be there as early as 7 a.m. So make sure that we prepare for our future stars to come in and have the best, you know, resources in terms of, you know, discovery yeah. and showing us uh, their God-given talent. So uh, some of the events from last year's edition, the relays got everything. 
everyone talking. <laughs> it used to be the talk. You know, you know, Relays and, are always and beautiful. We took it to the national level. Yeah. Even when we're not winning at individual events, yeah, of course. at the national competitions, relays. for the relays. It, we, Nigerians always find a way to stand out. Yeah. Um, Nigerians are male, female. The relays are like, you know, one of our strongholds, one of our strong points, where even the world, the US, the Jamaicans, the uh, Britons, they always expect Nigeria to be in the proper mix when the relays come, especially the four by one is it, is so much of a, a, a strength for us and we should just you know i i keep saying it whenever i come here mm. work on your strength after you know working on your strength and you're a proper word beater yeah. on your strength then you start working on the weak ones the kenya. weaknesses isn't that we, what kenya is doing that is what uh -huh. they are doing so at the time we're saying kenya can only do long distance but rodisha came uh -huh. 800 meters uh -huh. and it became a world champion uh -huh. olympic champion conquered hey. the world for years no, go far leave the trial we'll see here go we'll see here go got into the field the, yeah. with Javelin, the, the monitor. That, that is it. The, the, the After discover. you finished with your strength, yeah. you now start working in the corners. You know, on your weaknesses. Where they will not expect. You where to they will not expect, from. and then you That's shock it. the world. That's it. And Nigeria is so blessed. Olu and Dara, good luck. She's a darling. Look at her right there. She's so passionate about sports. And look at the, the idea, the talent. Just 16, Oluan Dara, yeah. good luck, wanted to do all the events. <laughs> she emerged champion of the girls' long jump. That's yeah. her right there. Look at her. Oluan Dara, If you luck. see her in the school, you, you'll say she's a nerd I said, with her you, glasses. Can you take off your glasses? She said, no, that's my good luck champ. Wow. She ran the 800. She did the 400. She wow. did the 200. Wow. Also did the 4x400 four four meters relay with her school. Oh, okay. Such let, a let, talent. Let, let me share a story. My, in me. my secondary school then, my set, the fastest guy was then, you know, an asthmatic patient. So uh, he keeps his inhaler at the finish point. Uh, One of us would always hold it. Wow. Whenever he speeds down, you know, dust everybody, he gets yeah. his inhaler. And you just see... He just wants to run. Uh, that is all he wanted to do. Whether helmet or no helmet, whether I'm okay, I'm not okay, he just wants to run. Yeah. And this is what Olua that you just mentioned yeah. wants to do. I just want to do sport. Yeah. And if you make this guy understand, after you enjoy what you're doing, you can still make a life out of it. You can be a world beater. You can be as popular as Okagbari and I the know. likes. Then what more? I know. She's already so, having the world at her hand. So someone is saying, what is really the point for the channel's track and field classics? And we say for us the objective, major objective, is to discover yeah. and nurture talent for close to 10 years. If you call a shiny name in Nigeria's athletics, it's blessing or cut back. Of course. We're not <laughs> Meanwhile, the United States of America, every four years at the World Championship, a new person they give you a new face. Noah Lice told us, told us he's coming to win gold. Simply. Is this our break record or whatever? I'm coming to win gold. Yes. The world is talking about him now. In the worst case scenario, they produce you a name and they will tell you, if that name does not conquer the world now, now in another next... four years, <laughs> wait. And it is, it is apparent. Yeah. It, you will see it happen. So I was we, on the we, show with my growing. guys this morning, and because we added short put and high jump to the events for the Charles Kids yeah. Japan. In short put, in the last six, seven years, <laughs> that's the only guy. From, from over there. <laughs> From over there, not with from with here. A, with the right environment. Then the, the para yeah. also. Ah, the so para athletes are the ones who. I, you. I, <laughs> we, we, we are stuck. We are as, um, uh, 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 we're just stranded yeah. as possible yeah. in a spot that the world, whether with our talent or not, yeah. are already scared mm. to have Nigeria in that mix. See, the Jamaicans are good, the Americans are good, the Britons are good, but whenever they have Nigeria in, for, uh, the, the sprints, yeah. the long they jump, will, they're, they, they're always quick. They always yeah. feel, these guys always have something. But now they don't worry again because they know we've ignored the foundation. Yes. They keep seeing the same person. But trust me, so they still have it in them that, that this, yeah. guy, this guy just have they, talent. They, 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 say, they say your country is blessed. It's blessed. But they know we that. Using, so, so, no, we, we, we're not. We're not. Can't be talking. <laughs> worry no more. Yeah. Worry no more. Channels, television. We're leading the revolution for grassroots sports development. And the good thing is it's going to be televised. Yeah. So somebody is wondering, well, what's, what is, what's going on? Walk with us on this journey. We're going to change it. It will take some time. 
but we have started and we will change it. Let me give you the order of events for tomorrow, day one of the channel's track and field events. When we get there, yeah. we'll start the registration. Hey, we're not just going to tell you to get on the tracks. No. No, we will screen. <laughs> we will check to yeah. make sure that everyone is following the rules and regulations. We will ask for your ID card. <laughs> if we were with suspect ID card, we want to speak to your games master. Yes. If the games master is not convincing, your we call your proprietor. <laughs> Close look, it's just to make sure that we're doing the yeah. right things. Yeah. So when we're done with that and we, you know, credit athletes, we're going to get down to business. We'll start with the girls, 200 meters heat, and then we'll go to the boys, and then we'll do the 400 meters, we'll do the long jump girls final. Let's see who will take yeah. the crown of Dara. good luck. <laughs> and then we're going to the shot put boys final. We're going to get new yeah. champions in that one because we just introduced the shot put event. Then we'll do the girls 200 meters semi-final. We'll do the, the girls 100 meters orders. The boys 110 meters orders for tomorrow. So it's already a packed day because it's packed. a two-day championship. Yeah. And then on Thursday, we will come for the final. Uh, Alowol Le Alimot yeah. ran 11.66 yeah. seconds. I can't stop telling this story. I Outstand, love it. Outstanding young lady. As, as Business-oriented, yeah. Kende, she crossed the finish line looked at the clock and gave a look that said, I, I, I could have been quicker. I, 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 I should have done more. Uh, and uh, another thing she did was uh, she also looked at her coach. Yeah. She, she, maybe games master yeah. at this point. And felt, coach, okay, I let you down a bit. The I coach mean, is happy. I was, and I was melting with the The coach time. is happy, she wants to but do she more. feels, coach, this uh, is what I give you every day. I promised I was going to give more. Yeah. And this is hunger. Yeah. See, we shouldn't allow this fire, this hunger die. Yeah. And, you know, you know, sometimes when you that. sit here and say, well done, Channels TV, some people will feel because you are here. But ask me, how many people uh -huh. does this? Uh -huh. Thank how you. many people get me talking about new names like Alimot? <laughs> how many people? So someone's like, Austin, these names you call. I said, because we went to the schools to bring them out. I just so I could tell you the names. I've told you about Alimot. I told you about Fatola Adedoi. <laughs> There's Chiemeka Ogogu. Because in secondary schools. <laughs> I'm tired of talking about those big... I, I talk to Sheye Ogunlewe all the yeah. time. Yeah. Sheye is not getting younger. Who are we putting in the process to become the next Sheye Ogunlewe? I've been talking to Ogo Ogunlewe all my life. So <laughs> who are we bringing to make sure that we keep the process going. Um, national record holder in the men's 400 meters orders is our lead consultant for this project, Henry Amike. And he's been talking to, as regards uh, the objective of the channel's track and field. This, the schools in Lagos, they are fully involved in this. And the director of school sports directorate in the Lagos State Sports Commission, Oluyomi Oluwasomi, she said, look, thank you so much, channel's TV. Yeah. Let's listen to them. Well, I must say that I'm really excited to even thinking that the athletes are coming out to have a competition. To me, it's a glorious day because this is what Lagos is lacking, this is what Nigeria is lacking. We need things like this to happen all the time in this country so we can have the best of athletes. Like what happened at the World Championship is because they have more concern in that country. It's not that they have better coaches or better facilities. We have everything here. What we do have is competitions. With this kind of competitions, Nigerian athletes will go places. Well, the competition this year is going to be bigger than what we had in the first edition. We're going to have more events and we're going to have more participating schools that will come out for this year. A lot of schools are really interested in taking part because of funding. We cannot take everybody in. So I'm inviting private sectors to come and support channels television so that we can have more schools to take part in the next edition. It's a very laudable project and we at the Lagos State Sports Commission and Lagos State Government, we are so very much happy about this initiative because the platform, a veritable one at that, to unhealth all this boarding talent in our schools. And like I said earlier on, it's not really possible for the state only, for the government to, uh, to fund sport, considering the fact that we have other contending sectors. Education is there. We have a Greek environment and all that. So seeing the channels coming up with this initiative, Lagos State Government is very, very happy with its um, initiative. It's so important because what we preach in Lagos State is in tandem with what uh, Chinese is doing. We have a slogan, stay in school, 
and stay in sport. Because you have to combine education together so to be an all-round uh, personality. For instance, no matter how good you are in your, in your chosen sport, there will be a time that you cannot pick, pick, uh, lift the legs, you can't lift the hands again. But when you combine the education, you know, sports it has a window of opportunities. If you are not doing, being in media, you can be a psychologist, you can be a physiologist, you can be anything. Sport is so wide. So that's why we want, we always encourage our children to combine education with sport. And apart from that, sport teaches a lot of um, life skills. It teaches integrity, teamwork, and a whole integrity, teamwork, and a whole lot of life skills that when our children I mean, imbibed with these uh, skills, uh, the sky would be the limit for them and it would be an all round of uh, personal, uh, personalities, whether now or later. What else can I say? Thank you so much, Mrs. Oluwa. So, I mean, that says, you know, sports and education will make you a superstar in summary. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, I'll continue our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I'll give you updates from the camp of the Super Eagles and let you know that Nigeria has beaten Zambia 3-1 at the calf on the 23 AFCON. Don't go anywhere. Stay.